today's video I'm continuing with my die filer project. To move the project along a bit quicker I've made quite a few components off camera. So let's have a look at what I've been doing. So I decided on an internal uh, gear reduction. So I made this uh, main drive gear which also houses the, uh, the drive for the uh, yoke which will provide the stroke. And this is mounted on a main uh, drive shaft and therefore also made a small uh, internal gear pinion which will need a drive shaft connected to an electric motor. <clears throat> so my original intention was just to have a single gear reduction inside the, uh, the die filer body. And once I'd made these parts, uh, I decided to uh, add an additional gear so I could have a high and low gear selection. So in that respect I made another gear. And to save making a new drive shaft to accommodate it, I decided just to fit it on the other side. So locate it on a drive pin and a couple of uh, bolts go through them on the other side so therefore I also made an additional gear so these will need to be joined together so I can select a, a low or a high gear and as I said, the, the, as I said, those will be on the inside of the uh, die filer body. So this is the uh, main bearing body. Got some uh, bronze bushes in there. These are sintered bronze bearings. I had intended for these to be a light press fit in, but I boarded oversized. But they're still a good fit in there. So I just notched the bearing out and put in a pin to prevent rotation. Same on both sides. So the main drive shaft will go on there, like so. So this will be on the inside of the uh, die filer body, which will be filled with oil, and there should be plenty of oil splashing about. So I put a little groove in here with a hole. So any oil that gets in here can go down and help keep the bearings lubricated. Okay, so I've got a flat one here and a collar. So that just goes on there. Tightens down. To limit the axial uh, movement. So I've also got this collar which uh, will go over there. And again, there's some bolts going to uh, keep it in place. Okay, so on the final assembly, there will be an oil seal goes on there. So that becomes the, uh, the main drive shaft assembly. I also decided that uh, because I've got um, quite a range of die files from very small to very large and a few sizes in between it would be a good idea to have an adjustable uh, file stroke so with that respect uh, this is the uh, T-slotted carriage I'm not quite sure what you'd call it uh, let's see a drive pin carrier so the position of this will determine the stroke so large stroke short stroke so I've actually uh, decided on providing three positions so to make sure this stays in place once it's in uh, once it <coughs> to make sure this stays in place once it's clamped down I've got three 
um, slots in the base there and I've got a clamping nut with the raised portion which fits into those slots so we have one two three positions so that goes in there the draw bar which goes through the other side but before we put that in well actually no we can still we can put it in and clamp that down actually no we need to take it out again so before we put that in I've got this uh, other colour which fits on there and also has some screws and then the draw bolt can go in okay so that's short stroke medium stroke long stroke and then this is the slider for driving the yoke I put a, a needle roller bearing in there. This is a hardened uh, steel dowel. So that's the uh, main drive assembly. So where this locking pin works is, if I just take it out, it's dead simple. got a flat and then it's got a notch and of course a spring so the screw goes against the flat stops it from rotating until it comes to the notch and then it can rotate and be held by the screw so. Just adjust the screw until it comes up against the flat. Back it off a little bit. And look to take that in place when the final assembly. Then go in and lock the spindle or the main drive shaft. And release it. So here's a provisional assembly of everything we've got made so far, um, apart from the drive pinions. So the body's just loose, I'm just holding it by hand. So that's the minimum stroke. So to adjust the stroke you engage the spindle lock, unclamp. Move the uh, spindle on the lift the uh, file spindle, find a notch, tighten up, release. So that's working quite well, looking pretty good.